Most people think time is like a river that flows swift and sure in one direction. But I have seen the face of time. And I can tell you, they are wrong. Time is an ocean in a storm. You may wonder who I am and why I say this. Sit down, and I will tell you the tale like none that you have ever heard. No first. I am the son of Sharon, a mighty king of Persia. On our way to Azar with a small company of men who passed through India. With the promise of honor and glory, and did my father was for his grievous hell. Hell! I think I felt regret as I gazed upon the destruction we had wrought, or at least humility at the speed with which a world can be transformed from a good work into a hell. If you think so, you are mistaken. For in that moment I thought of one thing only, the honor and glory I would bring my father by fighting like a warrior in my first battle. Many men that day sought to win honor and glory on the battlefield, that their king might say to them, and Kosovo said to Russia, You are the noblest of my warriors. From the moment my sword tasted blood, I knew this would not be my way. I would win my father's praise, not by killing, but by being the first to find the Maharaja's treasure vault and the wonders within.
there was a treasure I could carry with pride as a trophy of our victory. If I could only get there. I have brought us honor and glory. Your Majesty, you promised me my choice. Marvelous treasure. That air. Surely you won't deny the lad a souvenir of his first battle. You may have your choice of all the Maharaja's other treasures. Except that color dress. That will make a blind gift for the Sultan of Azad when we pass through the city. And some exotic animals for his mother. And doesn't say those. Yes, that should be enough. I want no animals or maidens formed until I have chosen. 
let it be known. King Saruman is merciful in victory. Trust not a man who has betrayed his master, nor take him into your own service, lest he betray you too. I learned the truth of this in my sorrow, the day that we arrived in Azad as the Sultan's honored guests. My friend, my friend you have given please joy and honor to my poor and humble dwelling. If only you have given me time to prepare a proper welcome. The glories of Azad are famed throughout the world. And yet, the best is yet to come. I give you the sands of time. May the friendship between our kingdoms endure as long as time itself. The sand, why does it grow? I can tell you. Inside the hourglass is a marvel that no living man has seen. Alas, only the dagger can unlock the sands of time, and it belongs to a greater one than I. A young prince, dearer to his father than all the wealth of India. Perhaps he will oblige. No! Ha ha ha! 
the guest rooms, where my father, all our entourage, and I should have passed the night lay cold and silent. The sands of time had swept through, stealing life and warmth from everything they touched. And I, who unleashed the cataclysm, had been spared. Were there others like me, who yet clung to life, hiding in fear among the ruins? It did not seem so. until I had found her again.
I did not understand the meaning of what I had just seen, but I knew, with a certainty I could not explain, that those winged creatures had a master. The man who had tricked me into opening the hourglass now had him. The unknown purpose coveted the dagger as well, would stop at nothing to possess it. Well, I would give him what he sought. I would plunge it into his foul and treacherous heart. Thank <laughs> you. 
Where was I?
What manner of machine is this? I told you! It's the palace's defense! Ah! We did it! Serve over cursed demons, right? Oh my god, they'll rue the day! They ever dared attack the palace of Azad! by using the strategically placed switches which I soon learned to recognize. Yet it was hard to escape the feeling that I had made a terrible mistake by setting in motion such a deadly system of traps which seemed in truth more likely to claim my life than that of an invader that was not flesh and blood.
been here before. I have been here before.
I know what it is to lose a father. That was not my father. What are you doing? treasure hall, atop the Tower of Dawn. How do you know that? I just know. Come with me then, if you insist. But I warn you, I move pretty fast. Better keep up. Thank <laughs> you. 
steal my dagger after I saved her life. She would have left me there to die. But here I am, risking my life for her again. And why? Good question. Here I am.
It's so quiet. It's terrible. But also beautiful. Maybe to you. No. You're a skinny little thing.
fabled menagerie of Azam, the Sultan's pride and joy. It had been one of the wonders of the world. As a child, I had dreamed of it and longed to see it with my own eyes. Now it was a place of terror, an abandoned ruin laid waste by the sands of time. If you have believed the rest of my tale and perhaps you will also believe me when I tell you that as we made our way through the moon of the moon, I began to feel strange and My reason for it was that she had to call the moon, and she approved it to the Lord. I confess, I was grateful to see someone like me.
Yes. Huh? I wonder what those are.
think I see that glow you were talking about? Be careful. built on the ruins of an even more ancient one. But I thought that was just a story. Now what do we do? Thank <laughs> you. 
You may. We'll need to open this door. Look for a switch. The door's open. I'm going in. Don't! Wait for me! Hurry! A soldier's mess hall. Smell of food still wafted from the kitchen. Scant hours ago, these tables had been filled with men, joking in camaraderie over their evening meal. Just as my father's men do back home in Seraph, at ease because they think themselves safe within the castle walls with no enemy to fight. How can they be so ready among them?
time like you can. Don't mention it. We're above the zoo. We'll need to cross that bridge.
I think I see how this works. Try pulling yours now. Fit under this game. I'll really be impressed. I knew that all was there. I just wanted to see if you knew.
You're going down. I'll find another way in. Try not to take too long.
thinking, you know, this time, I just realized it's you. I want to be part of that. You know what's most of that time? Lovely walk. Love with fragrance. Stop talking to me.
It doesn't matter. The important thing is, I know how we can reach the tower of Of course. Yeah, I'll die. All right. But this time, stay with me. And pay attention. You can't spend all day chasing me out here. Well, what are you waiting for? I'm afraid. What if I get into trouble and you have to come to you now? Please. All right, then. Let's find a way out.
with my love. I know she did. I didn't dream it. At least, I think I didn't. It's quite natural, really. Her kingdom's conquered. She has nothing, no one to protect her. She needs me. I can see it in the way she looks at me. All I'd have to do is reach out and take her hand. And she'd be mine. Why am I talking to myself? I'm up here. Love is life. So if you want to live, 
die in love. Die in love if you want to stay alive. What's that supposed to mean? I thought you'd like it. If you want to be useful, try finding a book that'll tell us how to get out of here. This isn't that kind of game. Game? She thinks this is a game.
There should be a way to make this thing go up. See if you can find a switch. What do you think? Are you on the platform yet? Not yet! Wait till I'm on the platform! Now! <sighs>
I'll meet you on the other side of that gate. Careful. You be careful.
After all, she is a Maharaja's daughter. A conquered one. After all, she is a Maharaja's daughter. A conquered one, but still. The blood is royal. Besides, what better way to tame her influence? It's not so bad for a woman to have a little spirit. It's a challenge!
father's palace was a prison much like this. I had never set foot inside. Now here I was, myself a prisoner, seeking an escape.
torture chamber. It was the first time I had seen such devices at close range and close enough to touch. Where were the men whose trade it had been to apply the question, to extract the answer their king sought? Indeed, there was one. In the end, they had met the same fate as their victims. Guards and prisoners made easy by the sand of the time.
It's all right. It's me. It's me. Look, at last, the power of dawn.
all glasses nearby. I can feel it. Feel it? How? I can't explain it. Done. I'll start the story from here this time. His army sacked your palace, captured you as a slave. What? You have every reason to hate me. What are you talking about? Now you want me to trust you. Go on. There's no time. Oh, I'm right here. Hold my hand. Don't let go. I didn't mean what I said. No. You're right. All that's happened is my doing. I wanted honor and glory. I brought this on us. You are brave and good. If this tomb is to be ours, at least the dagger will be buried with us. And we are together. What is it? Nothing. You're trembling. 
I just don't like close spaces. There must be some way out of here. When I was small, my mother taught me a secret word. She said that when I was afraid, all I had to do was speak that word, and a magic door would open. I've never told that to anybody. I can see why. It's the most childish thing I've ever heard of. What was the word? Kakolukia. Kakolukia. You did that, didn't you? Sarah? I don't see you.
was it real, that magical cavern? If it was a dream, then it was a dream we both shared. I knew it.
Done. I'll start the story from here. Bravely I have fought, slain my enemies, honor and glory of mine. But though I fight until the desert sands themselves were red with blood, I could not bring back the dead. No. No. I love the dead and I explain. I choose death. Father's army will know the traitor has been unmasked. They will turn back. Oh, I will see them indeed. I have a simpler version. The Persian soldier, lusting for glory, enters the chambers of the Maharaja's daughter and was slain by me. Your Highness, for your own safety, I suggest you flee. I will handle this intruder. Oh, 
Have I told you? No, no. It happened. I mean, it will happen. your father's treasure vault. Guard it well. I owe you thanks. But why did you invent such a fantastic story? Do you think, dear child, that I would believe such nonsense? <laughs> I said I owe you thanks. You presume too much. Do you think, dear child, that I would believe such nonsense? You're right. It was just a story. Wait! I don't 
don't even know your name. Just call me Kakolukia. <laughs> 